In our Health Watch this morning, germs, call them bacteria, call them viruses, call them gross. You're pretty much going to find them everywhere. Most of them are harmless, but 1% of all those germs can actually cause anything from a runny nose to a life-threatening infection. So you target places like the toilet and the counters, but you haven't even scratched the surface, folks. Rebecca George, editor at Prevention Magazine, is live in Tenafly, New Jersey, for us this morning to show us where the germs are lurking, even in the cleanest of homes. Rebecca, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Let me show you the first hot spot, and that, of course, is the welcome mat, which is not only welcoming you, it's also welcoming your germs. And the reason is because 96% of shoes were found to have fecal matter on them. Mm. So, of course, you wipe your shoes on the doormat, you rest your bag. That's a big no-no, because then when you go in the house, you put them on the counter. So what you want to do is leave your bag at the front of the door and, of course, spray your doormat with Fabric Safe Lysol every day. And then, of course, when you come in the house, you want to kick off your shoes. I'm not going to do that because I'm on television, but I will show you some other hot spots. Okay, so we're making so our way along, we're making our way to the kitchen right now. That's and I guess right. the first and spot of course, we'll begin with the sink, correct? That's right. You know, the first bad guy is this aeration screen for your water. And the reason is because it stays moist. So it can build up bacteria, it gets what's called a layer of biofilm, which can break into little particles and fall into your food. You want to unattach it and soak it in bleach, rinse it thoroughly, and then reattach it. The next hot spot, of course, is this garbage disposal, mm. which, get this, has about a thousand times more bacteria than the average toilet. Ew! Ew. So, so how do we soak clean that it? in bleach, too. You want to soak it in bleach. Bleach oh. is your best friend. So just bleach around. <laughs> I mean, I guess you really can't be careful not to put your hand in there. You want, you just to, use, want, to... You want to use regular bleach and water, okay. not the color safe kind, just regular bleach. And dish towels. Everybody Let thinks with the you, dish towel, you know, you wipe the countertop, everything's clean. But that's one of the worst offenders as well, isn't it? You know, it really is a bad offender. In fact, 7% were shown to have the deadly staph infection known as MRSA. And the reason is because people mop up spills and then that spreads. You want to save these dish towels for drying dishes. Use your paper towels to clean up spills. So you're basically and, you basically say paper towels is the safe spot. bet? Paper towels Stick are the safe paper bet? paper towels. Okay. Now the refrigerator. That's yeah, correct. of course. That's there's, correct. Got, there's got to be tons of yeah. bacteria in the refrigerator. That's right. And you know, people clean up their refrigerator, but they forget to clean their seal. And in homes, 83% of these seals were found to have mold. And then, of course, that can spread into your food. So be sure when you clean your refrigerator to scrub this seal with bleach. Again, bleach is your best friend. Okay, Let's so now we've, right we, we have found out that a clean kitchen is obviously full of germs. I can only imagine what the bathroom yes. must be like. That's right, the bathroom is really bad. But you know, first I just want to point out these bagless vacuums also like a meals on wheels for bacteria. Yeah. So scrub them outside with bleach. So you're right, the bathroom really can be a breeding ground for bacteria. And get this, the most surprising place is the soap dispenser. 25% were found to have fecal matter on them. Ew! So when you're washing your hands, you want to rinse them long enough with hot water to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. So just sing that and then your hands will be clean. Anything else? And then of course if you have... Anything else we well, need to worry your about? your cell phone. Yeah, cell phone. Your too. cell phone because people put them down anywhere and anywhere. So if you have any questions, don't pick up your cell phone. Maybe log on, use your computer. Actually, the keyboard can be a little messy yeah. too. So you know what? Don't touch anything actually. Just uh... Pick up yeah. a copy of Prevention Magazine. We're, of course, made with antimicrobial paper. Rebecca, thank <laughs> you very much. Basically, we're telling everyone out there, just go get yourself some gloves. Keep them on 24-7. <laughs> Rebecca George, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. For more on germ warfare Thanks. and those germ hotspots that could be hiding in your home, just log on to our website at cbsnews.com slash Saturday.